So I have had so many people ask me about how do I put digital post-it notes or what are they called? What's the non-generic name for a post-it note? Sticky bits of paper, sticky paper. We're so used to getting together and sticking bits of paper with different ideas on windows, whiteboards, walls, call it what you will. How do we do it digitally? Hi, I'm Warwick Merry, and I'm a certified virtual presenter and a certified speaking professional. And I wanted to answer that question, but I couldn't. I did not know the answer. Yes, you can go to this heaps of software out there, Mentimeter, Miro, so on and so on and so on, but they're all 10 bucks a month, 20 bucks a month, 30 bucks a month, 40 bucks a month, whatever it is, it all adds up, especially in the US dollars. Here in Australia, it costs extra. Then I was watching a session from Video Rockstars, the lovely Laurie Brown was on there and sharing some of the things that she did with this amazing product called Jamboard. I thought, oh, that's gonna cost a fortune. It's part of Google. Now, I don't know the actual uh, amount you may or may not have to pay for it because I've been able to use it with a free Google logon. I've also been able to use it with, I pay for Google, whatever it is, Google Apps. And so therefore it's part of that package as well. I wanted to show you how to use it. So let's go through this and it does so much more than post-it notes. And I've learned a little bit about it and the lovely Laurie gave me a bit of a rundown and shared her knowledge. Legend, we love you. So here we are, standard Google page. Let's make it full screen so you don't see all the other wang that's going on there. Click on the, the buttons and here's all the different stuff that you've got. And if you scroll down, here's the thing called Jamboard. Yay, Jamboard. So you click on that and it will open up Jamboard, I present for your joy and happiness, Jamboard. Just another little blank thing that you think, oh yeah, what, whatever. See this little plus button down the bottom here? Let's click on that to create a new jam and it will create a new jam. Now, when I first created one of these, I wanted to share it to get everyone to have a play, but I couldn't work out how to do it. I will show you the secret to do it. For those of you who haven't seen a Jamboard before, it's a very simple thing. You've got pens and you can have pens of different colors and styles, so you might have uh, this highlighter, so you can highlight something over here. You may have a pen that where you write, you know, something in a text. And I'm using a mouse here, so I'm, I'm not very um, delightful with it. You could do something that's a bit more artistic and have artistic brush strokes, it's sort of watercolor. Lovely. This is the post-it note thing, which is so cool. Here's an idea. Uh, let's call it idea number one. Woo! Idea number one. And so you might say, great. Here's an idea number one. Uh, I have spelt that incorrectly, but you know what? I'm going to keep rolling with it. Look, I can edit that, so I'll go back here and I'll change that and spell it correctly this time. Here's idea number one. And someone else might say, oh, yes, I've got an idea too, and I'm going to call it idea number two. So far, you're thinking to yourself, what am I wasting my time watching this for? But there is a very good reason. So you can move that around. So here I've created these different ideas, whatever. And you can make them bigger or smaller and rotate them and you can add <clears throat> you can add a different image if you want so if you want to do a google image search for idea because this is going to be an ideas board and i want to represent ideas and i'm having an idea here's an idea so i can just select that and put a google image in to my board so it becomes this idea board that i want to share with people and depending on your internet speed and how fast it runs whatever there are copyright issues because this just happens to be a stock um, image that's come out so it, while it's possible, you, you want to look at what's legal. Anyway, so I'm going to ignore that, leave you to, to worry about that. So here's the board. You can just keep adding to it. But you want to share it and you want to give other people the opportunity to do it. Can I tell you, it took me ages to sort it. Oh, by the way, you can name it. So if you want to just double click on the name and up we go. Uh, and I'm just going to call it Cherry Jam because who doesn't like Cherry Jam? So you want to share it. There's a big share button. So I thought I'm just going to click on that. That'll share. Click on the button. And it comes up with these different options for sharing. and But the problem is it's restricted. So only the people who have the link can access it. So you've got to click on get link and change that restriction to be anyone with the link. So this is when you're running a Zoom session or an online session of any description or a, uh, a workshop, whatever it is that you're doing. This is how you get the link. But you've got to change it from viewer to editor. So that means anyone can edit that link. We're going to copy that link. So I have that link available and done. So I can now share this. So let me jump into a uh, an, an ID, <coughs> my uh, my alternate, my nom de plume, which is not something I pay money for. And so I just pop in that link, and up comes the Jamboard. So I can make a change on this Jamboard. So let's just say I want to um, I want to erase. Oh, that's illegal. We want to get rid of this. So let me 
let me just use my mouth, click on the picture and go, I don't want to get, I get rid of that. We don't want that. And we can write a little message and say, bad and bad whoa that'll loop and so i've now changed that so if i just drag this down and pop back to my others you can see it's here so this is my registered warwick mary pay money and i can see the other thing that's that's been entered in it's a great idea to share all you've got to do is just copy that link and share it and you'll see up here it comes up anonymous wombat so what it's done is it's added an individual in, but it gives them an anonymous name, so you don't have to name who they are. You can invite individuals if you have their email address. It's easy to just share the link in the comment box of, or chat box of whatever online software that you're using. And it's a great way to share an idea. You can then save it as a PDF. You can do print screen, screen, little screen prints of it. You can share it to other groups, do whatever you want with it. It doesn't close down, because I know you could share um, a whiteboard in say Zoom or some other software, once you close it, you lose it. Whereas this is just gonna stay there. So you might have, let's say a breakout session, you get three or four different uh, jam boards that have been created for each breakout group. They share their different ideas. When you come back to the main session, you can click through and share those. Uh, as the moderator, you might share screen on each one of the jam board and have a look. Uh, and so it's just a matter of if you, <coughs> pardon me, you go click on Jamboard to go back home and it'll show you the list of Jamboards that you have. So here's Cherry Jam that we just created. It's a really cool thing. It's pretty much part of Google. So if you're paying any money to Google whatsoever, you would more than likely have the Jamboard app there. Here's a little bonus for you. If you load Jamboard on your phone, you'll have access to some extra features. So what it means is it has some text recognition so if you jump in on your phone or on your tablet and go to pens, what you'll find is an advanced option and it has, you can write with your pen and it turns it into text. Now my writing is so bad on a phone, it hasn't done it properly, but it does what it does. It also recognizes objects. So you can do a circle with your finger and it puts a, a real circle there. So there's some extra functionality using the tablet versus using the screen as well. A really handy tool. Uh, I recommend that you use it. I hope this has been of some value to you. Warwick Mary, Certified Virtual Presenter. Hope that's been of some value. Get in touch and let me know if you need more tips.